right, good morning, Vietnam. It is 7.41 in the morning. Normally I'm at work right now, but today's Saturday. We gotta work on the wife's Equinox here. It's a 2014, and we got a little issue we gotta resolve today. Yeah, that little creaking. We'll try it again. We'll keep recording here. Oh. Got my sidekick here today. Doesn't have a seatbelt on, but oh well. I have mine on. See if we can't hear that sound again. It's a creaking type sound. Not that. I don't know if you're picking it up, but that's in the brakes. So, I got new calipers, or not calipers, I got new pads, I got new rotors, Plenty of brake grease, some brake clean, some anti seize, and some tools. And uh, old Wrigley and me are gonna put new brakes on wife's car today. So stay tuned for more. Wrigley. Okay. Here's the wife's car. It's a 2014 Chevy Equinox. We do have several things to correct on it. You're only going to see a few of those today. I'll give you a quick walk around. Here's, I'll show you some of the issues. We have had a bird strike. Watch out, Wrigley. Right there, perfect bird shaped hole. In the grill. I don't have that yet. The headlights are the original, so we're gonna put some uh, new bulbs and help her see a little better. I know she's putting her brights on a lot, and it, the the old beams just don't cast as far as they should. One winter in the UP, and look what happens. So we've got to correct that. It's kind of all around here bubbling so we, we gotta correct all of that what <laughs> these old uh, wheel covers leave something to be desired oh. Wrigley says I'll give you the tour <laughs> needs a wash she doesn't like to run it through the car wash all the time. I do, but that's just me. Another wheel cover. Let's see. Back, I think, is okay. This is an all-wheel drive model. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in the back. Whoops. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in the back we need to worry about. Another wheel cover. I love how he just gets right in the middle of the shot. <laughs> Another wheel cover. And then the other thing is this car has 116,000 miles on it, which isn't bad. And uh, it's never had really any major engine work. So, of course, we're going to give her a tune-up. New coils and plugs. And that's a undertaking in and of itself. Just notice the car's just had a little rougher idle. It shouldn't have the mileage that it should. Now I know she's kind of got a heavy foot, which doesn't help, but 
so what we are going to do today oh the other thing is that issue that we discussed this morning uh, so again I'm not sure how far I'm going to get my goal is to get the first issue taken care of which is the brakes and possibly wash and wax depending on how much uh, stamina I have later from watching this guy most of the day So, let's start with the brakes. Alrighty, mine is some anti-seize and a hammer. This is what you're going to need for brakes. You're going to need new uh, rotors, pads, definitely some brake cleaner, some braking caliper grease, these uh, brushes, wire brush set. Of course, the jack and jack stands. I have a full set, so there's rotors there and down there. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is move any kind of junk out of the way, like a dead plant. So our work area is nice and clean. to block the rear tires. Ideally you want to use a wedge of some kind, but we're just going to use an old mine rock. Just something to stop the car from rolling in case there's a problem. All right, we got our jack in position here. There are, the best lift point is kind of the subframe. It's a all steel channel all the way around. What? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the jack underneath there and get ready to lift. All right, what we are going to do first is we're going to loosen the lug nuts. These are a 20 millimeter lug nut. Take our breaker bar and righty tighty lefty loosey. Kind of alarming on how easy that moved. You can also use an impact if you so desire. But Okay, go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, now we're ready to jack up the car now that the front wheels are loose. Watch out, Wrigley. Thank you. Ouch. So, right behind the radiator, you, you will note the subframe. So it's not far in here. Though. There we go. When jacking up a car, be very careful. Mm 
Okay, have your jack stands ready to go right under. Okay, and we just want to give the car a little shake to make sure nothing huge is going to happen. Seems nice and solid. Alright, well now we are ready to take our wheels off. When you're doing brakes, you want to do one side at a time. Okie dokie. We're ready to remove the wheel. So we got a view of our caliper here, or our rotor. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of rust on it, but pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the back here and start there. Okie dokie. What you're gonna wanna do is locate your bleeder screw. A little catch container underneath here. We're gonna open it up a little bit, about half a turn. And it is a 10 millimeter. Should be, I believe, 14 mil. These are loose now, these caliper bolts. And they're there. Now we should be able to get the caliper off. Hopefully. Gotta love Michigan. Now, you notice there's quite a bit of rust in here. It's typical. What we gotta do, remember to keep your bleeder down. We gotta push this piston back in, and then we close the bleeder valve. What we're gonna do, while we're getting ready for that, let's grab our clamps. And then we close the beater up. Whew. 
to lock the piston in place. Okay. Now what we want to do is grab a bungee cord and find a place just to kind of stow it out of the way for right now. Like that. It's out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. Now we can loosen. Let's see if I find them. We should be able to loosen our two bracket bolts. All right, be right back. All right, 18 mil socket. Tight with you guys in here, sorry about that. Sorry guys. Mm. Alright, let's I gotta get you guys out of here, but you know the idea. I got them loose. They were they are torqued quite high, so you're gonna have to put a little oomph in them. And off she comes. Alright, our next step is going to be taking a T30 Torx and putting it in this little screw here. Of course, some dingus kind of rounded it out, so hopefully it'll come out. Okay, so we're going to have to replace that screw. Let me grab some hexes. Normally a T30 and that comes right out. I think somebody used a hex bit in a hurry. Of course, right? Be right back.
penetrating oil there. Clean up the mess of that in a minute. Okay, now that we got our damaged bolt out, here we have the uh, brake pad holder. Take the old pads out. You see there, worn down pretty good. That's the rear because it has the pad for the um, for piston. Here's the front, and what we're going to replace it with from a place called Detroit Axle. Let's see, here would be a front. Let's check out the back side first. As you can see, it's a little bit different, but not much. Got these two nubs here. It's a little different. Hopefully you can see it. The big clincher is right here. <laughs> Look how worn these are. Holy Toledo. That's insane. So, I said, I believe these are probably the original brakes. Anyway, so here's a front. Oh, here's a rear. You can tell because of the, um, doesn't have the two dots in it right there. Has a place for the plunger to press down and apply. Plus, it has this uh, squealer. No, I grabbed the wrong side here. There we go. Just a little bit different setup. Should work, hopefully. We're going to find out. <laughs> but yeah, look at the thickness difference. Not crazy. So these are our fronts. Here is our rear. We got a couple things to do on this guy. Let's get these old uh, doohickeys off. I have new ones. These clips. Still forgot to get a screwdriver. And then, so, let's see, how well can you see this? Hopefully pretty well. So here's our issue. Remember we heard that when we put your foot on the brake and it slows down? So these guys are supposed to move pretty freely, right? Like that. Look at this. That's not moving. So we got to free this guy up. Because there's a pin in here that's supposed to slide back and forth so this can move, you know, ever so slightly. So, like I said, here's the free side. That's what we want. Here's the side that's frozen, what we don't want. So there's a problem right there. Let me work on that and uh, we'll get back to you.
Mm-hmm. Yummy. We'll clean that off real good. See the difference between the two? Put that right back there just so we know which is which. Let's clean this guy off real good and put some new grease on her. Alrighty, well, we had to go to the auto parts store because the the boot on the other side, or this, the, the lower boot on the other side was broken. It's bad. I'll show you later. So I had to go to the auto parts store, get new boots, and I got a new pin. Why put a pitted pin in? So that side is good. I just inspected this side. The boots here are good shape. The pins are nice. Everybody's happy. For the most part. So our next step here, I got the other side back together. I was just done. <laughs> Clean this guy off real good. So like I said, if everything's backwards, now you know why. Take our brake clean and Get the other side. We'll let that dry real good and we'll get our new tabs on. As soon as I find them. Oh, let that dry real good and we gotta get grease on them next. So, be right back. I think, according to the gauge on the charger, I think the battery's charging. Sometimes it's hard to read them things. I don't know which way they go, but. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Breeze, anyway. This yeah. Real hot. Yeah. Yeah. My experience was always this would be something you're doing in December, though. Mm. Yeah. Nothing worse than work on cars in cold weather. Mm -mm. I, I never knew what it was that garage and lights. And me neither. Really? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> go inside, Wrigley. There you go. Too much, too many flammable stuff out here. Jeez. All right. We got the rotor cleaned off with brake clean. Putting our screw back in. Uh -huh. Somebody's practicing their wheelies over there. Yeah, yeah, next garage, you're replacing brakes. <laughs> oh, not to replace brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the old lock tied off of there. There's some water in the fridge if you oh, want. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you want to buy it? Yeah, put it in my tab. I haven't paid you yet. <laughs> I forgot about that. I don't think I, we did pay you for that. We, that yeah, little, 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 I can't even talk now. We haven't paid you for that yet, have we? I don't think so. Uh -huh. But Katie you know, figured out the money out, remember? Yeah, that was like 20 or 25 bucks. This is neat. I like this triple rack, man. See the calipers anywhere or the pads? Oh, they're behind the bag. Uh, oh, thank you. All right, now that we got our pads on, let's undo the caliper. Torque them to 10 foot pounds. Or 20 foot pounds, excuse me. 20 foot pounds per manufacturer's directions. The other bolts were 140 foot pounds.
Okie dokie. The final step is opening the bleeder, just let the brakes bleed a little bit. Well, second to last step, I should say. Guys, gonna call her and see if she can lose case on the track and all that. Okay. Yeah, get all those air bubbles out of there. Nice healthy drip with no bubbles. Let's see, let's try that again just to make sure. Quarter to half a turn. That looks pretty good right there. Tighten her up. Nice and snug. I think we'll clean everything off with the brake cleaner. The party to whom you wish to speak is not available at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Listen.